back to hopefully have a stronger connection. While you're away, it's just been a really heavy dose of the opponent's defense. They've come out swinging haymakers. We expected this. Coming down here to Cincinnati, we are in Hamilton, Ohio at Spooky Nook Sports Center. Game one of the weekend. We got this game here on Friday. Two on Saturday and one on Sunday, and this one is coming out of the gates at a million miles an hour. We knew it'd be higher competition, and it's delivered just in the first two minutes. That's the second basket for 3N, both made by the big Zoe to cut the lead eight to four with 12 and a half to go. Turnover, Zoe picks up the steal, kicks it out to Charlie, and Charlie throws it into the backcourt, it gets kicked. Coach Pat is fired up on the, the bench. 3N trying to keep their legs after getting left and right cross checks and everything in the first two and a half. This team be right, not sure where they're from. They're in white with red trim and they are coming out. And that's a three. That's the first three made of the game. Might be the first attempted. Back goes the team be right. They're up 11 to four, just over 12 minutes to go in the first half. Three point there, attempt by Charlie Zoff. Team B right up the court quickly now. And they finish on the break. That's enough that Coach Pat has seen. He's gonna call a timeout to slow things down if we can't do it ourselves. So recheck real quick. Again, apologies for the horrible Wi-Fi. I got my partner in crime here. She came upstairs to help me out. I was pulling my hair out. Very frustrating. But I think we're all set and centered now. So game one has started off with a bang. Heavy, intense defense from the opponent has opened up a nine point lead for them. We played two 14 minute halves. We're just under 12 minutes in the opening game. And 3N is in themselves a little hole here, down 13 to four. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Out of the timeout now, 3N will possess. Shelby to inbound, full court presses on. She gets it into Charlie. Knocked away there. Charlie trying to clear the press. She gets it up to the mid and clears it. All the way outside now to Shelby. She goes in, goes left. Takes a shot there off. Rebound Dylan. Rebound Dylan. She puts it up and in. Nice job, number 12. 13-6. That three-point attempt is off. Rebound Team B right. Tied up in the outside, she kicks it out. She's gonna shoot another three, that one's off. Rebound Audrey, Audrey's quickly to Dylan. Dylan sees a cutting Shelby who goes left, misses. Zoe's on the spot and it trickles in, barely. 13-8, three and down by five, just under 11 to go here in the first. Team B right breaks it back out. Outside now, inside the three point line, it's off, rebound. She jumped out of her shoes. But Audrey steals it and takes it herself. She's gonna go up and she's gonna finish. Much needed buckets right there to trim the lead to three. 10.35 left in the first half. Three and down by three. And they're gonna say a body foul there on Dylan. That's her first while we were trying to get connected you may have missed, Zoe picked up a foul, and I think that might be all, it could be off. Quickly now, three point attempt is off, but the rebound is off too. Zoe rips it down and gets tied up 
They're gonna say a foul, and I like that call. A lot of times we don't see that. They quickly call a jump ball while our girls are getting beat up. So that's a foul on Team B right on the floor. Shelby to inbound. And brings it across. Now, quickly outside to Dylan. Dylan runs the baseline, gets blocked there. No foul, but Dylan picks up the loose ball, puts it up, but misses. Rebound Zoe, she puts it up and she finishes. Four buckets for Zoe. And that has really got the Team B right. Coach, not happy. I tell you what he's saying, and I think it's G-rated. He's saying, we need some rebounds. Zoe with a quick eight points here. Just a tick under 10 minutes to close the lead to one. Team B right was up by nine. And we just went on an eight nothing run right after Coach Pat's timeout. That seemed to do the trick. So Team B Wright's gonna try to take a card out of the deck that Pat just played and calls their own timeout with hopes that that might get their team straight. But they jumped out at the big lead and 3N responded. And then now we have a 13-12 game with 9.59 to go in the first half. Bringing it back up the court now. Molly is checked into the game and she's guarding out top. There's Shelby helping out. Blocked there by the long arms of Audrey. She's gonna take it in and get the first lead of the game for 3N. What a weapon. If you don't know, now you know. Audrey will take that wingspan and intercept like Ronnie Lott and Lester Hayes coming back now. Zoe with the block and the steal and the deliver to number two quickly now. Dylan outside to Molly. Molly goes right. She got knocked away, but Audrey's right there to pick up the loose ball. Audrey calls a play right below us. She kicks it out to Molly. Molly goes right, loses it. Tips it over to Shelby. Shelby goes left into the paint, now outside. That's a three-point attempt. That's off from Audrey, but scrambling onto the ground was Molly. She loses it. Team B right breaks up to set up their offense. Now a three-point attempt is off. Rebound, Zoe. Zoe up to Audrey. Audrey looks up the court. She's gonna stop, fire a three, and just missed. Rebound, Team B right. The pace is pretty incredible here in the opening minutes. Three point attempt, that's off, rebound. Tipped around into Molly's hands. She takes it herself. She sees someone going, that's Dylan. She goes left, just off, but Zoe's right there to finish it, just like she's done already, and that coach has had enough. 10 points already for number nine to push the lead to three with just about eight minutes to go in the first half. Team B right now. Molly guarding out top with Audrey. Inside, outside, inside. Zoe's gonna defend that and it's gonna work. Rebound, Zoe quickly to Molly. She's by herself, two on one. Molly goes up, no foul. They're gonna say it was clean. I don't know about that. Stevie Wonder saw a foul, but anyway, here we are back at it. Team B right from three point land. They're gonna try to come inside. Molly defends outside. From three, that one looked good, but not good enough. Rebound goes to Team B right. They move it around. They're going to throw another three up there, and that one finally goes in. So they're going to keep shooting that three until it goes in. That's their second they've made, but they've shot about double digits. Now, quickly, Dylan inside to Audrey. She loses a handle, gets hit. So they're going to say 3N should have the ball because the white team kicked it. Checking back into the game now, number four, Charlie. She comes in for Shelby. 7.04 left, we're tied up at 16. That last three-pointer tied it up. Actually, Team B right gets possession and they come up quickly inside now. Guarding there is Zoe who gets another block. Dylan might've got a piece of it. Molly has possession and she brings it up for it. 
thought about shooting a three there. Looks like Zoe is inside, but... They caught a five second violation there. So turnover, three in. 6.44 to go in the first. Inside now, Zoe defends. And that's good enough for Molly to get the rebound, miss shot. Molly takes it herself quickly now to Audrey. She's at the middle of the court. Inside now to Zoe. Zoe goes right. Zoe's got a hook shot. That's going to be short. That's Zoe's first miss, I think. And we're still tied up at 16. 6.15 to go. First half. Turnover. Audrey picks it up and quickly now to Charlie. Charlie's going to take it herself. Go in and get the bucket. 18-16, 3N. Team B right now, outside. They like to shoot the three, but this time 22 goes inside, kicks it back out. You know she's gonna shoot that. She goes inside the three-point line. That's off, rebound. Team B right, she goes quickly in and she gets fouled. So she's gonna shoot two, number five. This is the first, it's uh, still 16-18, three and up by a bucket at 5.44 in the first. This is them both, rebound Dylan. Dylan quickly now to Audrey, right below the camera here. I'm upstairs and Molly's gonna shoot that right below me, she's gonna be off. Rebound, Team B right, they break up the court. Number five, who just missed both three throws, kicks it back out. And that's a three, that is just off rebound big rebound by molly they're trying to pull it away from her but they got called for a foul the last time they tried that this time now how about that dylan with her second bucket of the game the tempo was great good look from molly to push the lead to four 20 to 16 5 13 left in the first half now team b right outside you know inside at the free point line and outside again molly defending at the three Number five goes left, and it's stolen there by you-know-who. Long arms. Audrey. Now, Audrey for three. Nope, that was Molly's three. Looks like she got bumped, but no call. Now, Audrey, all the way back to Molly. She's going to try that again. Girl screams in her face, and it goes in and out. Rebound, team B right. 4.41 to go. Three and up by four. After being down by nine, responded well. And that one is off. Rebound. You know it. Molly, that might be her fifth or sixth rebound. She's going to take it herself. And then she gets fouled. She looks all right. Hit the ground pretty hard, but that's Molly. Molly Martin doesn't get any tougher than number 20. Boy, did she have a weekend last weekend in Columbus. I think she's still hitting threes. All right. Molly to shoot two. Three and up by four. 425 to go. It's the first. Checking back in now is Shelby, number one. She's gonna come in for Zoe. Zoe's gonna take a much needed rest, get some water. Had a high five from the coaches, and even J-Lo over there, I think, threw a, threw a fist bump out there for Zoe. Molly sinks them both. Three and up by six, 22-16, 4.23 to go. Here comes Team B right, they go inside. That's a runner, it's off, rebound Team B right. She spins, she gets blocked there by Dylan. That's Dylan's second block. Great defense. Now quickly, Charlie gets it. She stops, slams on the brakes, and finishes. I like it. Wise IQ play by Charlie Knowles to push the lead to eight. There's the hands by Audrey. Quickly now back to Knowles. She goes left, she misses, so rebound is Team B right. Let's see if they try to keep trying to throw it over Audrey, because every time they do, it just gets stolen. Stolen, um, almost stolen by Charlie. They don't call it over and back because Charlie tipped it. You saw it. Great defense here by 3N. That 20-footer is off. Rebound, Shelby gets pushed from the back. They don't call it. Audrey's going to take it herself quickly now. Up this court, inside now to Dylan. She goes left, goes right, goes, oh, what a move. How about that? Dylan with her third hoop. 
And that's a throwaway. It, it went out of bounds. I know you didn't see it. I'll move the camera. Just trust me, it went out of bounds. Dylan's having a quite a first nine minutes here with the offense and defensive prowess. So three in, will possess here. Three oh eight left in the first. Dylan from the top. She looks to pass it, goes right, hands it off to Charlie. Quickly goes left, throws it up and just off. Shelby tried to reach in there, missed it. So Team B right will have possession. They bring it across. Three point look. Thought about it. She's gonna throw it up anyway. That doesn't go. Quickly now, hustling for the rebound is Dylan. Shelby gives it over to Audrey, and Audrey brings it across. Back to Shelby. Shelby goes right, back to Audrey, and Charlie now has it from the top, being defended out there. Inside now to Dylan, go to work, go to work. She does, gets down, they say it was uh, blocked, no foul, so. Be right back at it. Outside now, defended by Molly and Charlie. They throw it all the way back. That's going to be over and back. Nice defense. Charlie and Molly forces that errant pass. Checking back in now is Zoe. Taking a much needed rest is Dylan. These girls have really responded well after being down nine early on. 2.06 to go. Three and up by 10. 26 to 16. Charlie with the inbound. Her three point is just off, but quickly it's a breakaway. Charlie gets all the way back and causes the block. Helped over there by Molly, who raced back. Now, quickly back. Shelby's pass was caught by, oh, look at this pass. I can't even keep up with this, folks. They're throwing it all around. Audrey to Charlie to Zoe, who finishes. That's 12 for Zoe, and we're up by 12, 140. It's like Jacqueline Hyde first half. The first three minutes was all Team B, right? The last 10 has just been the black unis of 3N. The putback there finally stops the rush from 3N. Team B right finally gets a much needed bucket to take their deficit to 10 with 1.15 to go. Audrey now goes left with a screen from Zoe. She throws it up, but guess who's over? Johnny John Johnson on the spot. Gets a rebound and gets it out to Shelby who goes over to Charlie. Charlie goes right with it, misses. And look who's over there to shoot. These girls are fighting. How about that? Shelby, I think that's her first bucket, and that was a beautiful one. We're under a minute here. 30 to 18. First game of this tournament. We have two more tomorrow. And they're late games. That was a nice look, but it's short. And that's gonna stay with 3N. Yeah, we play a I think a five. 30 tomorrow and a 9.30. So we're lucky to have these practices so late. Coach Pat must have known, but this tomorrow's going to be some late games. So tune in tomorrow, and hopefully we just keep seeing it, an extension of what these girls are showing now. The runner, no-look runner from Audrey goes away. Zoe's attempt got lost, but Audrey tried to grab Zoe's miss, but when she grabbed it, the ref said she was uh, on the line, so. Yep, he saw it, I saw it, you saw it. She, she, oh, he's, what is that, a warning? I don't know, that was a, I thought it was a turnover, but anyway, I don't know why he blew the whistle. We're back at it, we're about 15 seconds to go, see if they can get a shot off, hopefully not give up a foul with just seconds left. We're down to 10, now inside it. Number five takes it. That's off, and that's the first half, folks. They got a good look, kind of, but it didn't go. What a first half, opening half for the weekend. We got, we got dancing mamas up here. Yes. I mean, oh, you got to do that dance. Yeah. We all dance like that when we see these girls play like that, don't we? We got a three-minute halftime, and then we're back at it. Join us for, for the second half. 3N, keep their foot on the pedal. 30 to 18 over Team B right. I'm gonna try to find out where that team's from.
fan in here to our run because you're here. Sorry for the technical problems at halftime. Our hotspot girl, also known as Leslie, decided to run down the road here. And as soon as she did, everything stopped. So I blame Leslie. She. Sorry, I was, I was thirsty trying to get down to my water. That's what happens. It's all the way down there. Well, we all got excuses. <sighs> Sorry. I think we'll forgive you this one time. I don't know why the Wi-Fi is so bad at all these it, places. I don't understand the Wi-Fi. It's... It's the death of me. I don't get it. You have a water down? Yeah. Get that up. Oh, is it the pink thing? Oh, no. All right, coming out of the break here. Hopefully they're all refueled with their water, or their Celsius, whatever they're fueling up. Recap from the first half. Team B right came out throwing haymakers. We were in a hole by nine. Pat Knowles said, I've seen enough. Calls a timeout, and since that timeout, we've been on a run. Not a mathematician. But we were down 13 to four. So we went on a 26 to four run. I just did that. I pulled that off. You know why? Because it's 30 to 18. Oh, it's a 16 minute and a half. I think I said 14 earlier. Apologies. So 16 minutes to go. Team B right to inbound and quickly they do something up. But 35 lost the handle, went off her shoe. Three end to possess. Quickly now, Audrey all the way over to Charlie. Charlie outside to Molly. And that's stolen, so they I think we know what they're gonna do. They're gonna try to deny the, uh, the post. That turnover leads to a quick bucket. The first points for the second half go to Team B right, and they cut the lead to 10. Now, their press works because they just got a turnover, so this doesn't look Looking good for a three in in the first minute of the second half. Zoe grabs the rebound and throws it up to Audrey, but it goes over her hand. And Team B right now. Trying to whittle this lead even more. Zoe gets a paw on that one and doesn't get fouled okay. Tell you what, I don't know what she's supposed to do, but they're letting them play. All the way alone is Molly, and boy, we can definitely use that shot, and it's back. Molly hits a three. I think that's her first of the game. Pushes the lead to 11, 14 and a half to go in regulation. Three and up, 33, 22, and now on the, well, they said she was behind the line. That rebound goes from Molly's hands to Zoe's. Now, Audrey gets up court, sees Shelby to the right. Shelby goes inside, loses the handle, and they're gonna say, they're gonna say uh, number two knocked it out from the white team, and so 3N should keep the ball, and they do. Audrey now, all the way outside. Zoe's gonna shoot that three, it's off. She's gonna want that one back. That looked like a travel, but they didn't call it. Team B right, trying to set up their offense. Goes inside and goes off of Zoe's. They said Zoe was on the line, so team right to uh, to keep possession here. 13.57 left. They said she stepped on the line when she was trying to look for someone to pass it to. Turnover. Right 
now. Charlie back to Audrey. That attempt from Shelby, just short. Hits the front of the rim. B right, comes back court. They go inside, back outside, and that is off. Rebound, hustling for it is big 35 for Team B right, but she throws it over to our girls, and Molly takes it. She's gonna go inside. She's gonna take it herself. They say she got fouled, so she's gonna shoot two. So the free throws were made there by number 20, Molly, and now another steal. That's the fifth steal, I believe, for Audrey, who goes outside to Charlie. She's going to shoot an 18-footer. That's off. Rebound right in the hands of Gillen. She turns, spins, gives it to Audrey, 8-footer. She gets hit, but no foul. Rebound, Team B right. They come up the court, guarded there by Shelby. They're letting them play, I'll tell you that. They still try to keep throwing it over Audrey's hands, and... Audrey keeps grabbing it. Rebound Zoe, now back to Audrey. Audrey gives it to Zoe, who's running the court. And the other girl didn't catch up to her in time. Another bucket for Zoe, assist Audrey, 37-22. 12 and a half to go in regulation. Another almost steal by Audrey. Shelby guards out front. All the way across here. Now inside, stolen there by Audrey. They're gonna say Audrey hit her arm I don't want to get thrown out of here by responding to that. Horrible call, we'll let it go. Can't get them all. Now, back at it. Team B right, throws it to Shelby. Shelby takes it herself, she looks to pass it, she finds Dylan, but stepping in front of that was the deuce from the other team, and Audrey, now that was a foul. That was a foul, she helps her up. That's the Audrey we love, good sportsmanship, but that was a legit foul, so whatever. Team B right to inbound from under their basket. They're down 15 here with 12.07 to go. Another steal by Audrey. Quickly now. Charlie goes up and under from the right side, and those are the easy buckets we love. Tempo just kills the opponent. 39-22, we're under 12 to go. That's thrown in and sloppy, not smart play. Charlie with another steal. Inside now, Zoe gets a great pass from Audrey, and the left-hand finger roll is another bucket for Zoe. I think she has 16. Now, I think the gas tank might be getting low on this Team B right because some of the decisions look like mental, mental-ish, you know, mental breakdowns, I'm trying to say. Okay. Back at it, that was a nice play. Number two had two girls in her face and it still went in. Well executed. Audrey goes left and she's gonna finish that. You, that is just an amazing play by our point guard. Yeah, they do look tired. But that's good. That's why you gotta be in shape. and. Pat's had the 3N facility at about 100 degrees all week. Zoe has uh, come back home and drenched, but I think it's paying off. Another block there by Zoe uh, stops the offensive threat from Team B right. We're checking into the game for Shelby. Is, uh, I think Molly just came in. Dylan's three-point attempt was off. Team B right rebounds, and they come across. Ten and a half to go in regulation. Three and up comfortably. Guarding out front is Charlie. All the way to the right wing. Molly guards that. Help from Audrey. She just stepped over the line, but they missed it. Did you see that? I thought she stepped over the line. Um, 
I guess it doesn't matter. The, uh, the pass went in and she got the bucket. Quick timeout now. I think this was called by... Checking my partner here. I think uh, Team Be Right called that timeout at 10-11. Left to go. Three and up, 43-26. Looks like a full timeout. So give us a minute and we'll be back for more action. Loving it as much as we are down here in Hamilton, Ohio. From the timeout, 3N. Inside to Zoe, she goes left, kicks it all the way out to Molly. She's going to shoot that. And just short, rebound number 22 from Team B Right. Team B Right is down 17 here with under 10 to go. Charlie guarding out front. Inside now, Zoe's going to say, I'll get another block. That's her sixth, I believe. Outside now to Dylan. She finds Charlie back to Dylan. Dylan's gonna go left, gonna go in, gonna get fouled, and gonna go shoot two. Great ball movement. We saw it last weekend in New Albany. The girls were just throwing it all over the place. I remember hearing they looked like we were up, like had eight girls on the floor to the three of the other ones. Definitely not that case here now today. Uh, but the, the quickness is still there, the tempo. They're looking up the court immediately when they grab a rebound. They're looking up the court to score quickly. And that has been a huge success for this girls 3N team. Dylan missed the front of the first two. She's going to get a second. Something was going on behind the scene. It looks like they had a quick stub from Team B right. So Dylan's going to get her second shot here, and that's off. Team B right comes across. Oh, almost stolen again by. Oh, oh, I, oh, no. Tell you what, hope Audrey can keep some of that energy for this weekend because. Oh, did you see Dylan just step in front like that? And quickly now, Charlie goes up. I just talked about this. It's like I'm Nostradamus. Speed kills, tempo kills, and these girls are looking up the score quickly. They want to put a hundred up. There's no ceiling on this team. Tell them they can't do it. Zoe with the steal. Look what Audrey's doing. She's looking for someone, and it's Dylan who just throws a little hard off the backboard. And quickly now, Team B right comes back in. The runner from just inside the free throw goes. That's their second bucket in probably four minutes. So the recipe here in the second half is working just as well as the first half for our three end girls. Now, Audrey inside to Charlie who goes inside, sees Zoe on the outside. Zoe hits the bucket with a beautiful assist across the paint from Charlie Knowles. Just a couple of ticks over eight minutes in the second half, 47, three end. 28, Team B right. Beautiful opening game here for our lovely ladies. That ball went into the crowd below me. Again, looks like a fatigue air. So their facility when they practice must be a cool 50 degrees. Anyway, we're back inside now. That was tipped away from Number 22 there on the other team. So 3N will keep it right in front of the bench. 
Shelby wipes her foot off on the back of her soles of her sneakers. They're wearing the old sneakers. I was told they're saving the nice blue ones for tomorrow. We got a, quite a ticket tomorrow. The girls are definitely looking forward to those games, especially the second one at 9.30. The second three-point attempt from the big, that was off, but much better than the first one. It's a good look, but off. They're going to say the rebound attempt was, uh, I think they called Dylan for that one. That might be Dylan's second. So Team B right, who looks exhausted, walks it up slowly in midcourt. Screen there on Molly. Zoe tries to redirect it, and it works. Look at that tiptoe job by Shelby, and it worked. Air ball from two feet. Gets back into the hands of Team B right. She loses it and hooks her arm around, and it's kicked by you-know-who, our soccer player. Audrey gets her one kick. One kick of the game is good. So now back at it. They're big, misses, are big. Skies up and grabs probably her double digit rebounds. Audrey now to a wide open Shelby who shoots a three and drains it. Get some love from her mom over here. Little fist bump from Leslie. Great job, Shelby. We're back at it on defense now. 3N has hit the the Ulysses S. Grant mark, the 50 cent mark, the half century mark. Translated 50 points to 28. This from Molly will probably be 52, but oh, where did she come from? She's like, not so fast, Molly. I don't think they called a foul. I think it was a clean block. Good hustle by number three for Team B Wright. Now outside, Molly says, if I can't get the layup, I'll just hit the three. And she does. Wow. Dagger three. Thought Shelby's was a dagger. That's a double dagger. And then there's another. You might not have been able to see it. Got the fence right here. I'm up top here. So uh, just a kind of a brain fog. Brain fog, uh, I don't know, turnover. And they've had a few of those. But anyway, we're back at it. Under six minutes to go in regulation. Audrey brings it across, behind her back, inside now to Dylan. Dylan kicks it over to Charlie. Charlie spins around back to Dylan. Dylan goes right, inside, underneath, and finishes. How about that? I think that's eight for Dylan. I could be off, but I'm six or eight. Might be 10. My stat man is here. Audrey's father hopefully is keeping stats. If not, I'm going to tell Tracy. But anyway, another bucket and a steal from their daughter, Audrey. And there's a tip right below me from Shelby. The ball goes around, goes to Charlie. Charlie finds Molly. And then Dylan's going to say, guess what? I'm going to do it again. Nope, that time not off. But I think she went through the entire team to get that shot on. Just over five minutes left in regulation. Brian about to get a 60 spot on this uh, opening round opponent. They say Dylan got a foul on that. I saw all ball. Dylan's had a great opening game. Really, all the girls are just playing out of their sneakers right now. I don't know if they should put the new ones on tomorrow. I mean, I'm not superstitious, but I don't know. These turquoise ones are doing the trick. You now, in all seriousness, those new sneakers are fire. They're nice. The girls will be wearing them tomorrow. Some will have green laces, some will have blue. I think Zoe has one of each color in one of each shoe, so I don't know how she got that idea. Anyway, we're back at it. She made uh, her free throws, and now Charlie brings it across. Let me adjust camera now, the give and go. Charlie throws up a kind of a loop-de-loop, -loop, goes off, and now Team B right. Come back up, way down, and there's another mental turnover. That's what I attribute that to. Maybe not mental, maybe they're in shape. I don't know. 4.03 to go. Shelby to inbound from right in front of the opponent's bench. 
three in, about to double up this first opponent. 57 to 30. From the top now, Audrey looks to give it to someone. A lot of pause in her face. Shelby says, I'm gonna take it, and she loses the handle. The ball goes over to number three, who had that great block a minute ago. She kicks it out to her partner, and they're gonna say, wow, that was a whistle from another team, uh, court. We're in those venues where the whistles, you don't always know if it's your whistle or someone else's. Kind of frustrating. She, she already did it. So Shelby got caught in the corner, picked up her dribble, and so Pat saved her with the timeout. I saw an eye roll over here by... I guess someone's not getting Starbucks. That was the look that I just saw from Shelby's mom, but... I'll buy Shelby Starbucks. All right, so the quick timeout from uh, Coach Pat. It's a it's a 30 second timeout. They're all standing up. 304 left. I think they have the the mercy rule. If they do, it's probably if we're up by 20 at the two minute mark, they'll probably call it. We saw that a lot on the Made Circuit tour. Um, that happened to us once, I think. Uh, and uh, I think we did it a few times to some teams out there in the East Coast, but uh, um, we'll find out in about uh, 64 seconds because, uh, like I said a minute ago, we're almost doubled up on this team that really came out, punched us in the face, but we buckled and didn't fall. We said, uh, we, we took your best and now you gotta take ours and they really haven't. Team B right has just uh, been swallowed up here by our offense and our defense. Now, quickly inside to Zoe. Zoe goes right, goes left. She loops it under and what the heck? That went in. Oh, she just stepped over, but you know what? I'm not gonna yell from up here. All right, Zoe's little loop-de-loop -loop works. And you know who got another steal? You know it, number two. Don't call me Deuce. Audrey just got, <laughs> I don't know. They're not calling it now. Zoe wanted to shoot it. She doesn't, now Shelby from the left. She loses a handle, 25 from the other team grabs it. Shelby's mom just pounded the, don't pound the, the railing here, you're gonna hurt your hand, Leslie. Two and a half to go, three and 59. Team B right, 30. They're gonna say Shelby reached in, she probably did. She's probably mad from losing the handle, but she's all right. 2.11 to go. Taking a seat now is Audrey. Um, Zoe grabbed the rebound, but the girl punched it out from her. It'll stay with 3N. So on the floor is uh, Molly, Charlie with the ball, Zoe, Shelby, and Dylan. Right underneath me. Well, it's uh, under, we're under two minutes. Zoe with the screen. Zoe's gonna shoot that. That's gonna go just on. Good luck. 138 to go. Three and up by 29. Turnover, another turnover. This time Dylan has it, gives it to Charlie. He's running the point now. Charlie goes right, outside now to Shelby. Shelby goes left. Zoe's at the top of the key. Zoe sets the screen for Dylan. Dylan goes right, kicks it all the way out to Shelby. Goes inside that, that that's gonna hit the side of the backboard. But on the spot is Dylan goes left. Dylan misses. Zoe grabs the rebound, throws it up. No foul. Rebound, Team B right. We're under a minute in this one. And blocked there by Zoe. Dylan picks it up and tries to get it, but it goes through her arms. And they grab it to score there. And Zoe got a little excited there and stepped over. Clock continues to run. We're just at uh, 37 seconds. Quickly, the uh, last two subs for the game on Team B Right check into the game, and a quick three from the inbounds goes in. Boy, they probably needed that a few more minutes ago. No harm, no foul. Molly's going to say, I got one in my sleeve, but that one just goes off. With seconds to go, Zoe is still battling for rebounds. Love to see that. All right, Team B right comes in with just seconds to go and another block from Zoe. They haven't learned. They've played a whole hour with this team and they keep getting inside and they keep getting blocked. 
And that's gonna do it, folks. The final second ticks off in the first one. What an impressive show by our girls. This is just one for today, and it was a good one. Team 3N, 59. Team B right, 35. Join us tomorrow for two nightcap games. This should be fun. We out. <laughs>